fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of a great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for Leadville. Hail Silver. Away. The whole vast stretch of Tomahawk Basin was an armed camp. The honest cattle owners knew that Benjamin Steele, owner of the Tomahawk Ranch, was an unscrupulous man, dangerous as a rattlesnake whose one desire was to own every head of cattle that ranged the grasslands, and who didn't care how he did it. That's what I'm saying to all you men. My name is Fergus. You all ken who I am. I come over to this country seeking new land, a new place to dwell. I come to Tomahawk Basin and there set down my roots. I homesteaded. I live there and there I intend to stay. I graze me cattle and there's no man will make me turn coward. Aye, not even that man who would be lord of the valley, who would drive us all away. You're right, you're right. I'm a peaceable man. Then you doubt it. But I fought for what was right in Scotland, and I won't do otherwise here. How are we going to let one man take our cattle without saying him nay? No, no. no. <laughs> Senor, that is very pretty speech you make, no? Uh, it is what I believe. Your name, she is uh, Fergus, no? Andrew Fergus. Aye. There's no need to tell me yours. Tis a name as black as the heart of the man you work for. Your name is Breed. I work for Senor Benjamin Steele. You better tell him what you heard us saying. Hey, no, see, I tell him, I tell him plenty. <laughs> He's very funny. You hombres think you can whip Mr. Steele? That is very funny. Fergus, look out. He's wearing guns. See, I wear guns. I am also fast on trigger. When the Lone Ranger comes back, We'll drive Steele into the hills or into jail. The Lone Ranger is not here. The Sheriff of Leadville, he also is not here. So perhaps you take the law into your own hands, eh? I wear guns, Breed, because tis the custom. I'm a peaceable man, and I don't like to use them. But if necessary, I will use them. So... Oh. Turn back. Look out, there's going to be gun smoke. You know, Senor Fergus, you draw guns when you like. I fix you. I'm looking for the Sheriff of Leadville. I want to see him prone to a... Well, I'll be... See, si, senor, I also... Look out, here it comes! Hey. Get out, he's got out of the lamp! It's dark. Let them fight it out themselves. I'm getting out. Shooting's slowing up. 
Reckon Breed and that other gender are all out of bullets. Aye, I wonder if anyone is done for. Breed's a dangerous hombre with a six gun. Aye, that he is. But who in blazes was that other gent? I didn't know exactly, but still. Soft, man. Here comes one of them. Steady, boy. Steady. Where's the sheriff? He's gone. He won't be back in Leadville for a few days. Are you hurt, lad? I want to see the sheriff. Nothing else matters. Adios. Get there. There goes one of them. If he finished Breed, all I can say is it's good riddance to the whole community. Where's that hombre go to? Oh, so you're alive, Breed. Your opponent has left, and I'd advise you to do likewise. Uh, See, I go. I go. Well, senors, I tell you now, I work for Mr. Steele, his biggest ranch in Old Tomahawk Basin. I tell you for him, get out of Basin or he will drive you out with guns and bullets, have eh? (laughs) <laughs> Adios, hombres. Gents, looks like we got a range war on our hands. Fergus, there's only one thing to do. Hey, Thatcher, we take the law into our own hands. Right. From now on, we're banded together against steel. Vigilantes. <laughs> it's not far now, Silver. We'll be on the rim of Tomahawk Basin soon. Tato, this way, Silver. Hi! Oh, Silver, steady, boy, steady. Oh, Scott, open up. Oh, open Tie, you came, Sabi. You're on ahead of me, Tato. Why didn't you continue? There's plenty of trouble in Tomahawk Basin since we go away. We've only been gone a week. That's right. Like you say, time to come to Basin ahead of you. Last night, me ride into Leadville. Yes? Me hear bullets from Cafe. What? What was it about? Fellow named Breed there. Him make keep big talk and reach for guns to shoot Fergus. Fergus? Ah. Uh. Fergus is one of the most peaceful ranchers in the basin. Him not that way anymore. What do you mean? He's not dead? No, him live. Before Breed shoot, stranger come door. Breed reach for gun, stranger shoot lights out. There plenty noise, but it dark and nobody hurt. Stranger him leave town. Breed him leave town too. Who was this stranger? Well, Tonto not know that. Him ask for sheriff. I see. Go on, then what? Uh, Kimasabi. What mean vigilante? Vigilante? Ah. Uh. I know that's the name men use out west when they take the law into their own hands to deal out justice. It means that honest men turn almost as bad as the criminals they go after. <laughs> Vigilantes. Ah, uh, that's what Tonto think it mean. What about Kerry and Ferguson Thatcher? Them all join. Them ride with rifle, cross saddle. Range war start and never stop till steal him dead. Or until the honest ranchers stop his bullets. Um, what we do, Kimasabi? The sheriff's got to handle this. It's got to be done honestly and legally. But sheriff, not here. Then we ride, Tonto. Fergus lives across the basin. We get to his place several hours after sundown. Come on, Silver. Get him out the scout. Oh, Silver! Power! You mean to say that the ranchers have banded together as vigilantes to wipe us out? Is that it, Breed? See, si, I arrived from Leadville to tell Senor Steele. That is why you and me, we leave ranch. Why, them vigilantes haven't got a chance. We can outshoot them any day. We're gunfighters, they ain't. (laughs) That's right, Rusty. So you and me, we have a job of work to do. You savvy? Yeah. I savvy, all right. We're riding toward Fergus's ranch. Senor Fergus and his daughter, they are alone. We get the sun go down. We shoot him. We ambush him as he heads from the corral to his house. (laughs) You're a smart hombre, Rusty. After that, we have another job of work. Yeah? You hear, maybe I have gone fighting Leadville, yes? Yeah, some stranger, wasn't it? Walked into the cafe and you and him started blasting. Then he lights out. Yeah, that was no stranger, Rusty. Huh? I know who that man is. Senor Steele, you also know. You and me, we got a job to find that man and to finish him. Sounds important. Plenty important. We must finish him before he get to Sheriff. Yeah, that's easy to say. But where is he camping out? This valley's an almighty big stretch. We look, we search for him all night, all day. But first... Right now, we go take care of Fergus. He know, Breed. You give the orders. No, Senor Steele, he give the orders. Now we go, eh? Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh, You're late, Father. The sun has already gone down and the crickets are starting. Meg, why are you out here at the corral? What about the evening meal? Supper's been ready for an hour. I came out to wait for you. I didn't like being disobeyed, lass. Father, I I heard shooting off to the west. Was Meg, it... you're a good girl. Now, don't bother about what's not your business. Besides, it was not I. I have not yet used my rifle. I, I'm glad, Father. Oh, gosh, Meg. 
Get back to the house now. Didn't you understand? We have sworn a range war against Steele and his cutthroats. You might have been shot. They wouldn't shoot a woman. They'd shoot anybody. I'll help you put the corral bar back. Ah, uh, you stubborn lass. Why not, Father? The Scotch have always been stubborn. Ah, uh, you have me there, lassie. I'll get the saddle off the horse. And now, the corral bar. Oh, tis but a few steps to the house. Come along. Father. Keep walking. Father, it's, it's dark, but I thought I saw something. Over there. Didn't I turn your head? Keep walking. Father. Hey, run for it, Meg. Run. <laughs> Three hours later, when the Lone Ranger and Tonto reached the Fergus Ranch House, as they galloped up, the windows were dark. There was not a sound except the whisper of the crickets and the thud of their horses' hoofs. But as they stopped in front of the porch... Steady, Silver, steady, steady, boy. Lift your hands and stay right in your saddles. We're friends, Fergus. Yeah, we'll soon see. Light the lantern, Ming. Aye, it is you, the Lone Ranger and Tonto. We'd better get inside, Father. Hey, come in, come in. The men who tried to ambush us just after sundown. They were driven off. It was dark, but we thought that you... It wasn't us. Tom and I just arrived. We've been riding hard all the way. Sundown, we were miles from here. Who tried to ambush you? We don't know. That must have been Steele's men. And you don't know who drove them off? No, it was dark. All at once, they were shooting behind them. Then Father redoubled his fire. They were caught in between, so they ran for their horses and got away. Whoever was helping us went after them. Aye, it was one man. Fergus, you've got to stop this. Are you talking about... I'm talking about taking the law into your own hands. Starting a vigilante movement against Steele. Steele is a murderous criminal. Then let the law deal with him. It's too late. The sheriff wasn't here and we took the law into our own hands. By the totten of the clan, Fergus, that's it. What, Father? I have been wool-gathering, lass. The man who helped us at sundown... Why, I should have kinned that horse he rode, looked familiar. Who was it? Uh, his name I never got. But he was the stranger who was in Leadville last night. He asked for the sheriff. Ask for the... Fergus, will you promise me to stay in your house and not try anything till I return? That depends. Where are you going? Todd and I are going to trail the man who helped you. But it's dark, Mask Man. How can you find his trail? Moon come up soon. It's your way. Yes. Suppose the man he's following turn on him. He wouldn't have a chance. <laughs> Breed, breed, bring them behind this mesquite. No, they're right. They come after us. They well, I tell you, bring up dog on your height. <laughs> you go loco? No, it? ain't gone loco. The moon's come up, Breed. Take a squint along the back trail. Huh? Go on, use your eyes. I did. There's only one man follow us. Yeah, just one. We got buffalo in the running, Breed. We could have stood him off easy. Fair up, so. Sure. We could have got Fergus after all. Now we'll have it to do all over Wait. again. This hombre will come. This man we look for. Huh? See, I recognize horse. A fellow who shot at me last night at Leadville. Pronto, Rusty. Back off the trail. It take only one shot to get rid of him. Mm -hmm. He's plenty full now. Tracks easy to follow, huh? We're gaining on them, Tonto. These tracks are fresher. Uh -huh. One rider up ahead. Him just now disappear over ridge. We'll be up with him in a... Steady, Silver. Oh, steady, oh, oh, oh. Kimasabi. One shot. Only one, Toto. Come along, fast. Get up, scout. Faster, Silver. It come from that way. Over the ridge. Ah. What's that? There he is. On the ground beside his horse. Me not see anybody else. Oh, they heard us coming. They rode off. Here we are, steady boy. Whoa, oh, Silver. Oh, 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 oh. Easy, mister. Uh, oh. Him shot. Yeah, yeah, engine. From ambush, I didn't have a chance. I wanted to see the sheriff, but now I'm cashing in my chips. Reckon I'm done for. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. It was nearly dawn. The moon had set, and it was dark outside Andrew Fergus' ranch house. But still, he and his daughter sat tensely trying to pierce the gloom. Father, I hear a horse. Aye. Just one horse. And he's walking, not galloping. Who could it be? Don't move, Meg. Wait. Hi. It's all right, Meg. Light the lantern. It's Tonto. You've been a long time gone, Tonto. And why did you come so slow? Uh, me, me need help. Are you alone? Where's the masked man? Mask friend, him be here soon. Him follow trail a bad man. But I don't under... Tonto, who's that you're holding in your arms? Him shot. Hurry, in the house. Here, over here. Who is that? Uh, me not no name. Him feller ask for sheriff. Don't to put him here on bed. <gasps> hey, girl. What ails you? Father, that's... That's Jeff Darrell. Jeff Darrell. Huh? He was a stranger to me. I was in... in love with him. Tonto, he's... Is he dead? Pull Silver steady, boy. Hi. Hi, Tonto. How is he? Him inside. No. No, you not go in. Why not, Kimasabe? Girl in there. She know Daryl a long time. Daryl? That's his name? Ah. Uh, she tell me a story. Him feller named Jeff Darrell. Him own ranch, other side of Tomahawk Basin near Leadville. They meet when she go into town to buy supplies for father. He left the basin? Ah. Uh, him leaves sudden because of trouble with Benjamin Steele. So that's it. Ah. Uh, and that must mean that... Tano, he wanted to see the sheriff. Well, girl think maybe Darrell have evidence to put Steele in jail. No wonder Breed and Rusty shot him. What, that? Breed? Rusty? Yes. While you brought Darrell back here, I trailed them. They headed straight for the Tomahawk Ranch. Well, I recognized them when dawn came up, but I was too late to go after them. Ah, uh, plenty of men on ranch, huh? Yes, Kimosabi. Steele's ranch is an armed camp. Now, where's Fergus? It's going to be a wide-open range war unless we persuade him to call off this vigilante business. Uh, too late to do that. Too late? Huh? When Fergus learned girl loved Darrell, him take rifle and horse. Him go get other ranchers to fight Steele. They can't do that. Take the law into their own hands. Besides, they're outnumbered. Unless they use strategy, they haven't a chance. Uh, me say that too, but Fergus, him too mad to think straight. Tonto. What is it, Miss Meg? Meg. Meg. Oh. Huh. You open eyes now, huh? You get better, huh? I reckon so, Injun. Meg says she says you're a doctor and saved my hide. I, I don't know how to thank you. Steele forced me out of the valley. He used unlawful means. Reckon I was a coward for a while, but now I've come back. Looking for the sheriff so he can put Steele and all the coyotes who work for him where they belong. In jail where they... Don't try to get up, Daryl. We'll get the sheriff for you, and we'll get Steele. Well, where's father? I've got to tell him. Well, what's wrong? Where is he? You didn't notice? Notice what? He's gone, Miss Meg. Gone? While you were busy watching over Daryl, your father left. And unless he can be stopped, he and the rest will try to attack the Steele ranch. Oh, no, it, it would be suicide. Yes... Unless... Unless what? Tonto, the sheriff is on his way to Leadville. I'm going to meet him and hurry him up. Now, here's what you must do. Aye, that's what I'm saying. That's why I gathered you all together. You've got horses, you've got guns. Have you got the courage to fight against all? No, we have no. We're but a handful against Steele and his crew. But my daughter told me what Steele did to young Daryl, who's lying at death's door right now at my ranch. I'm a patient man, but I cannot abide treachery and greed and tyranny. I fought against them in Scotland, and I'll fight against them here in the valley. And whether we live or die, who'll ride against Steele? Well, you wait. It's Toto. Toto, where's the Lone Ranger? We can use him. Lone Ranger, say you wait. Him ride for sheriff. Uh, we're sick of waiting. It's not bad to die, but we want to die fighting against a foe, not shot down from the dark like Daryl. Daryl, not dead. Him get better. Huh? You wait for Sheriff. Wait for Mask Friend. You not have chance against Steel if you not wait. Aye, then Tonto will wait, but we cannot wait for long. If the Lone Ranger does not return by sundown, then legal or no legal, odds or no odds, we fight. That's right. Oh, yeah. Bye. Mask man. 
Rain up or I'll shoot. Sheriff, hold your fire. The Lone Ranger. Mister, I almost pulled trigger. Sheriff, there's trouble in Tomahawk Basin. Burgess and the small cattle owners have formed a vigilante outfit. They can't do that. It's not lawful. There's no time to argue. For all I know, they may be shooting now. Those men are ranchers, not fighters. They don't understand how to fight. And Steele's got more men. They're gunfighters, dead shots. Fergus hasn't got a chance. Doggone, if I only had legal proof to go after Steele and his crew, You'll I'd... have get... legal evidence. Huh? It's waiting for you at the basin. Cut your horses loose from the traces and ride with me, steady big fellow. I sure will. Here, slap this saddle on the bay. Right. I'll cut him loose. There we are. I'll put on the saddle. Yeah. Let me tighten this cinch. There. Right. If I ride one and let the other trail along free, maybe I can keep up with Silver. <laughs> Kino, mister, let's travel. Get up, get up there. Whoa, well, Silver! Let him try. Let those hombres try to shoot it out with us. We'll fill them so full of lead, they'll weigh more than a Texas steer. <laughs> See, they will come from over the hill. Still say we wait for attack from there. What about the masked man? The Lone Ranger? Yeah. One of the boys without checking up. What did he report to Steele? He reported that the ranchers, they don't wait for Lone Ranger. They won't, eh? Sure not. They wait till sunset, that is all. <laughs> Look, see for yourself. Sun shows already going down, huh? <laughs> For a masked man. We've been waiting half the day. Let's go get him. We've been waiting too long all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Hi, the sun's gone down. Oh, Fergus, no wait. Now, Tonto Bailey is right. We've waited too long. Right. Up, men, gallop your horses. We'll ride over the ridge and swoop down on them like a robber the Bruce. Gallop your horses. <laughs> Silent and grim against the lowering sky, the ranchers headed across the rangeland. Anger and a fierce determination sealed their lips tight. Tonto riding with them tried to argue and argue again with Fergus, but in vain. Fergus had only the one answer. The time for waiting is past. Now is the time for guns, and whether we live or die, at least we shall strike a blow for freedom. The galloping hoofs thudded along the grassland. Under the broad sweep of their Stetsons, the men's eyes were fastened on the ridge, behind which waited the guns that would shatter the night silence. But then, out of the west, out of the west from Leadville, flashed a great white stallion. A voice echoed across the night. Oh, Silver, on fire! Left Lone Ranger, Tiny! Fergus, Tunnel, stop! You're too late, Moskman! Stop, you've got to listen to me! Hold, oh, hold, 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 hold. Mister, you cannot swerve us from our purpose. We mean to fight, and we mean to fight now. Fergus, the sheriff is only ten minutes behind me. Uh, we care not for the sheriff, mister. Lawful or no, we mean to make Steele pay for his crime. If you attack this way, you'll go down like trees before a hurricane. The bullets will sweep you from the saddles. We will not listen. You will listen. You'll listen because the sheriff is on your side. What's that? We're breaking the law. No, you're not breaking the law. You see this badge I'm wearing? That's the sheriff's badge. Deputy Sheriff Bailey, the sheriff is making you all deputies. And why not? Jeff Dale, he's got proof against Steele. Aye, that's so. Then we're deputies. On one condition. Give up this suicidal attempt to ride down on them. Go about it another way. You're not asking us to quit. No, we're going to attack. But we're going to surprise them. Now listen. Four men will go ahead to the ridge. When they hear the howl of a coyote, they'll start shooting. The rest of you will follow Tonto and me. It's getting on, Breed. I thought they were going to come after us. The boys are ready, but... Uh, see, Rusty. What keep them? The boys are beginning to get nervous. Oh, you call nervous. You think I run like a coward? Hey, wait, I didn't mean you. Uh, you better not. But still, what you say is very peculiar. What happened to them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing. It's always the same like this before the guns start, eh? It... What was that? Oh, you're the howling as moon. There ain't no moon. It is the attack. This is his own place. Let him have it. Lay up on the ridge. Back to me, bullet. Fire the gun flashes. <laughs> Four men on the ridge fired as fast as they could work their guns. 
The gunfighters below poured a withering fire up into the darkness. From the dry stream bed in the rear, the Lone Ranger and Tonto and the others can hear guns. Okay, Masabi, you make plenty good time. Listen to guns. All Steel's men, they fire up on the way. Yes, Tonto. All right, Fergus, Bailey, the rest of you, this is it. The shooting will cover our approach. We'll take them in the rear before they know what hit them. Remember, the sheriff wants them captured, not dead. Hi, lead the way. Follow me. Come on, Silver. Come on, Scout. Silver and Scout forged ahead as the posse raced up the bed of the dry stream. Before the bad men had time to turn, the posse swept over them like a tide. <laughs> Guns were knocked from their hands, ropes looped around their bodies. In a few moments, it was all over. We give up, you got us. Don't shoot, we give up. Aye, that's you too. Tie them up, men. We'll have them ready for the sheriff when he gets here. Wait a moment. Where's Breed, Rusty? Huh? Breed was here with you. What's happened to him? I don't know. I'll be doggone. If that yellow skunk has pulled up stakes and left us off. You do nothing. You go to jail. Maybe Breed in Ranch House with the steel. That's where you're wrong, Injun. What's that, Bailey? Didn't you cover the house? Sure, mister. We went there, but Breed wasn't there. Steel's gone, too. Both of them vamoosed as soon as the trouble started. There's no telling where they're headed. Uh, well, never mind, man. We got the rest. We've broken Steel's power in Tomahawk Basin. And from now on, every man can walk in peace and friendship with his neighbor. And if it had not been for the Lone Ranger's help, we... He's gone, Andrew. While you were talking. Gone? Where to, man? I don't know. Perhaps after Steel and Breed. But that's the way the Lone Ranger is. He's one gent who never waits around for thanks. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 